Valentine's Day, everyone. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. I'll just cut to the chase. Lycanthropy. Real name, Laura Talbot. Height, 5 feet 9 to 12 feet 8. Weight, 147 pounds to 438 pounds. Status, anti-hero and lover of vamp. Base, Alpha Earth Mobile. Intelligence, three brains. Behavior, optimistic yet bloodthirsty. She'll do anything to honor her love. Lethality, highly deadly to anybody who wishes harm. Weaknesses. Silver weapons. She has a strong devotion to vamp. Powers. In her werewolf form, she has great strength, sharp claws and teeth, acute senses, and is immune to most weapons. She can bite her victims and turn them into servants. She was later granted the power to change at will. Eyes. Glowing yellow, normally greenish. Hair. Blackish brown. Origin. Laura Talbot was an average teen who went with her family on a wilderness camping trip. After a few familial problems, Laura made the choice of sleeping under a full moon on a Friday. In the process, she was forever infused with lycanthropy. After massacring her family, she ran into the woods until she encountered a traveling vamp. At first, vamp thought that lycanthropy was a male werewolf, but when the sun rose the next morning, Laura changed back to her humanoid self. Since then, Vamp and Lycanthropy were a great couple, and Vamp even gave Laura the ability to change at will, giving her more access to her destined blessing. Costume. In her werewolf form, she's covered in brown fur. In her humanoid form, she wears nothing official, just whatever, you know? Team Solitary with Vamp and others. Original inspiration, werewolves. Here's the next character. I. Real name, Ebony Irvins. Height, 5 feet 10 inches. Weight, 139 pounds. Status, hero, and cosmic all-seer. Base, Alpha Earth, Altered Dimension, Mobile. Intelligence, 3.5 brains. Behavior, intellectual and cautious. She doesn't mind her powers. Lethality, extremely lethal in combat. Weaknesses, she hates it when others give her a hard time. Powers, She's covered from head to toe with eyes. She has a variety of optical abilities, along with cosmic awareness sharp enough to even rival that of Dark Angel. She also has advanced fighting skills. Eyes olive green for all of them. Hair strawberry blonde and flowing. Origin. In the altered dimension, Ebony Irvins was a young teen who had a fascination with eyes. One day, she became a witness for a fight between Dr. Brain and Gunn while touring in a local nuclear factory. Eventually, Ebony was bathed in thousands of gallons of nuclear waste, and when she awoke in the hospital, she found that she's now covered with eyes. After a while, I helped Faceless, Splitface, and Optic with a fight against Zound, Mashera, and Dollface. Since then, I would do anything to protect all innocents, and was later hired by Optic into becoming a new member of the Five Senses. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Team Solitary with the Five Senses and other heroes. Original inspiration, Marvel's Eye Boy. Here's the last character. Bethany Shepard. Real name, none. Height, 5 feet 10 inches. Weight, 144 pounds. Status, human and news reporter. Base, New York City, default Earth. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, flirtatious and willful. She will always get the scoop. Lethality, only if she's in a bad mood. Weaknesses, she has no healing factor. Powers, she's an expert as a news reporter, along with having uncanny reasoning skills. She also possesses pheromones. Eyes, grayish blue. Hair, silverish brown in chin length. Origin. In childhood, Bethany Shepard was badly abused by her alcoholic father, which led to her getting adopted. Despite that, she was soon hired by Samuel Dixon to becoming a professional news reporter. After being rescued by her teammates Luck and McKenna from a work-related incident, Bethany was infused with the power to emit pheromones. Nowadays, 
Bethany would try to have the best of luck when it comes to romance. Costume. She simply wears nothing official, just whatever she feels like wearing. Teams. She works at the New York News Station. Original inspiration. DreamWorks is Roxanne Ritchie. Well, those are the three characters I'm going to introduce, and great news! Thanks to the shorts that I posted just recently from TikTok all the way to my YouTube page, I now have enough, I basically have like 200 views in two days, which is a great accomplishment, I have to say, and I thank you guys so much for all the help you've been giving me so far, and in advance, you know, in the future. So I hope you guys, you know, have a fine Valentine's Day, fine romance and such, and if you guys want, like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want, you know how it is. Hope you guys have a fine rest of the day, rest of the month, and so forth. And until next time, and transmission.